Hey everyone, this is Zoras, Not Casuals, and today I'm bringing you a very special video where I'm going to show you the location of all 53 luxurious chests in Genshin Impact. Now, I made a recent video that got a lot of attention where I mentioned that chests do not respawn and I provide a lot of data and evidence for that fact. What we've discovered is that chests actually spawn periodically as you play the game and you get higher adventure rank. Some chests will appear like they've respawned, but actually just a new chest that has spawned in the same location. Now, once you reach a certain number, it will stop happening and you will not see a chest for weeks, which is the case for hundreds of players who have reached that limit and are now at a point where they haven't seen a single chest in hundreds of hours of gameplay. Now, the data that we have suggests that there is exactly 53 luxurious chests to be found in the game. And in the Chinese server, they actually have an app that shows them exactly how many chests of every single kind they have found. And not one person, including level 53 whales in China, have not ever found anything more than 53, which has led us to know and believe that there is exactly 53 chests, and that is it. So with that also came some really, really good guides that show you the location of all these 53 chests. And just with that, I'm going to go right into it. I'm going to show you exactly where you can find all of these amazing luxurious chests. So here we have a post on the Chinese servers forum that has been seen over 100,000 times with 11,000 favorite and 4,000 of votes by a very renowned person there who's a very powerful well who has a lot of data and research who's done a lot of great guides for the community in China. Now he has gone through every single chess location and has noted down exactly where they are. Now of course this is usually in Chinese. I have used a Google Translate to translate this page and I will drop the link of both of these pages because there's two parts in the description for you to see. Now there are some obvious ones that we know on top of the cathedral, on top of the Favinus headquarters and he basically shows you the location in person as well as on the map. You just have to find where his 1P uh, icon is as one player basically. There's also this one where you go over all around and you unlock the luxurious at the end. Uh, there's one hidden on the top of the dock here in Liu, uh, as well as there's one in the waterfall up here. Now, some of those are pretty common. People will have found them on the interactive maps of the kind. And you can basically go through them and you'll see that there is a lot of them that you've probably already seen. Uh, here, there's one that you have to be the boss on top of this hill and there's uh, the chest is basically in there. Now, there's also the one on the island at the bottom right of Leo here where you fight uh, the four rune guards and there's a chest that will spawn the first time. There's like a whole event about it. Uh, there's also one here. This is basically called the Heart Island, which is right here. Now, this is basically you have to go up here on top of this little rock and have a windmill that you can activate with an emo and then you can fly all the way to this island. There's a lot of stuff on this island, including a lot of a chest, and then you can fly with, again, an Nemo stuff here all the way to this island. Now, what it requires you to do is go into the little heart that is here and if two players stand in that heart the chest will spawn so you have to do it in co-op also on top of the storm terror layer here on the top completely there's a chest in there and also here again the same kind of little island in the bottom of Ryu. there's a boat here uh, it's Beidou's boat actually which is pretty cool lore wise uh, there's a chest hidden on top of one of the mats now as well here uh, this is the sacred island that people uh, see on the right side completely of the map you can basically glide all the way from here when you have high um, stamina or you can ice walk all the way or like use Mona and stuff like that when you have high stamina to get to here. Now on this island you'll have a lot of like little uh, adventures to do and stuff but there's actually a luxurious chest that's hidden under the island here on the side so you have to go where the cup pass is and you'll jump just down here there's a luxurious chest hidden right there. Now here, just behind uh, the Lupus boss here, you can see there's like these three um, sealies that you have to bring. A chest will spawn here. And as well here, you can go uh, Lord, uh, light the torch on top of the uh, top uh, mountain here. So this mountain right here that you see on top of the city, uh, you can light the torches here and then you see there's a chest right here. You'll see also here, uh, this is I think like Quincy Village or something. Uh, you'll, there's a mountain right here that you will find on top of the mountain. You have all these like golden uh, dragon heads, whatever. Just here, there's like a big tree and just underneath here, like where the tree is basically rooted, uh, just like a little bit lower, there's actually a luxurious chest that's hidden on the corner there. Now here in the Moonstead area, this is basically with a big sword and you have to do like three quests all around here and then it unlocks a big sword and you'll see that there is a chest that will spawn. It's right here uh, under the swords. It's like a dome that's protected until you do the quest, basically. Now, another one in Leo in the port, you'll see that out of the port here, there is actually another boat that's there. And on that boat, you'll see that there is a luxurious chest uh, at the back of the boat. Now, for 17, 18, 19 and 20, this is basically here. Uh, this is basically some uh, Tinku Valley rune place. There's three towers. Now, in one of the towers, you'll have a luxurious chest that spawns after doing the actual event. 
And once you've done all three towers, you'll go out, there'll be mobs that spawn, and you'll see when you kill them, three luxurious chests will spawn around you. Now, I see you'll see as well as these runes here on top of this little area. There's kind of like this chest that's just sitting there casually that you can loot. Now, in the same exact area, there's an actual quest that you have to do, like events and puzzle, and you have to bring different uh, sealies here. And you'll see that the chest will eventually just spawn in the middle once you've done all the sealies. And again, the same area here, you'll have to do uh, some kind of like uh, event as well in the window. You have to go through it and you'll see as explained here, uh, right here, boom, the chest is there and there's one of the CDs as well to unlock the other one that we just talked about that is going to be here. Now, this one is basically it's like inside the building. You have to go on the second floor. So there's kind of like a trap door that you have to fly through, which usually requires someone like Venti or Kaching. Now, in this area, it's like a bottom left of Liu, you'll see that there's like this puzzle. There's like five towers that you have to use a geo element on. And then once you've done that, a chest will just spawn simply here. Now, as well, the floating island here, which is basically the most commonly known puzzle. Basically, you have to go around. There's like three cranes that you have to turn to face this puzzle. Now, the puzzle is very easy to find because there's a waypoint on it. And then once you've turned all the cranes, uh, there's going to be a wind tunnel. You can fly on the wind tunnel and there's going to be like stairs of rock that you can fly all the way up to this island. And there's going to be a luxurious chest as well as two precious chests that will spawn on top of here, as well as you will get a recipe here that is absolutely amazing. You need to do this if you haven't done it. And we have a video on that exact quest if you need some help about that. Next, we have the Luha pool, which is basically where the uh, water, the beautiful green water is. And there's also the veneer painting uh, quest. We have an actual video about this entire quest line where to find all the items if you need help with that. And you'll see that once you complete the quest, you get to enter the rune. When you enter the rune, there's a chest in there. Now you'll see that this ends the post here. There's a part two that you can check, which is basically the exact same guy and the same type. Now we'll go from the beginning here. Uh, so 27th now is basically here. There's a quest that will take you kind of like all around. Uh, you see these like little square here and there's one here and there's more around. There's like a quest that asks you to go to all these squares and touch them. Once you've done so, you can come all the way in here in the middle. And there's going to be a fight with rune guards and you'll basically uh, kill them. And then once you do, you'll have the chest that will spawn in the middle of that space. Now, next is in Lingyu Pass. There's a lot of like quests here, missions There's like fire to lit and there's other stuff to activate. Once you've done all of this zone, just make sure to explore it thoroughly. Uh, you're going to have to come around here. There's going to be uh, some kind of like rock here just beside the tree that is there exactly at that location there's going to be a rock and you just have to like press uh, activate key on there and it will spawn a luxurious chest next is this uh, special mission that is in the quincy village now there's going to be a lot of stuff to do here you have to go on top of the mountains do some puzzles and then talk to the grandma in the little house there then she'll send you to this area right here now in this area we'll go through an underground area that is massive there's going to be boss fights it's going to be amazing it's really fun and in the end of this area, there's going to be a luxurious chest as well. Now, one of the last one is actually the nine pillar quest. You have to do all of the Geoculus to unlock this. Then you go on top of the nine pillars. You activate their heads there. You put the, like, the rock in there. Once you've done all of the nine pillars, there's going to be a, an actual dungeon that you can enter. And in the dungeon, there's going to be a boss fight. It's actually pretty hard and very fun. Again, there's videos on that stuff. And once you do so, you'll enter this room. You'll get a five star artifact as well as a luxurious and a precious chest. Now, this ends here because the next 20 luxurious chests are actually in the shrines. So you need the keys that you get from the domains, the one-time dungeon, basically, and some quests as well. And all 20 of the luxurious chests are in the shrines. That brings us to level 51. Now, 51 is in the main storyline. Basically, this one ju uh, jungle runes and tears. It's basically one of the main quests at the end of the dungeon. It will spawn a uh, luxurious chest for you, as well as adventure rank 25 and adventure rank 35. There's going to be an ascension level dungeon that you have to complete and beat. Once you do, you will have a luxurious chest for you. So that brings us to exactly 53 chests, which is, as I said, the most that anyone has ever found in this game, which means that a lot of the time you'll be seeing people say that, oh, I found a chest respawn here and I found a chest respawn there. Well, there has never been a single ounce of proof of that because people just say they found a chest, they take a screenshot, but they never show them having gotten it before. A lot of the times this happens because people have like seen that chest before but not looted it or they've seen it on a reroll project or they've seen it on an alt or they've done it in the beta or basically they're just wrong because they do not respawn. Uh, the Chinese servers have an actual app that tracks that and these people have been taking very, very good note of this kind of stuff and they have not found any more chests than that. There's literally thousands of players on the post I just showed you that basically go and say, nice, thank you, I found all my 53 and I haven't seen a single one. They've visited the exact same 53 locations 
over weeks and weeks and they've had the game longer than us and they have never found another chest spawn in any of these locations so as far as i know and as far as most people agree it seems like chests do not respawn they will spawn sporadically throughout your gameplay uh, and luxurious chests seem to have a very fixed location and time also guys on that casuals we have over 60 different genshin impact guides we have guides on almost all of the big quests and events that i mentioned uh, that i mentioned in this video about luxurious chess we have over 15 character guides and we stream twice a day almost every single day as well as we answer questions all the time on the streams we have our own discord we have guides infographic resources screenshots everything you need everything you want so please feel free to subscribe and join our community come hang out with us come chat with us come join the not casual crew and thank you very much for watching as usual and we'll see you on the next video